Tuesday, July 17th, 2018, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. This morning, I want to talk a bit about the bond market, the U.S. Treasury market, and the 10-year yield. I've spoken a lot about it in the past, past two years. Uh, I think we bottomed in terms of yields in July of 2016, so two years ago. And uh, even though yields have backed up in the last few months from a high above 3%, I still think we need to keep an eye on it. My background, for many of you who might not know, is uh, as a futures and options broker for about 20 years in the bond markets. I used to uh, uh, trade uh, treasury uh, bond futures, treasury note futures, uh, German bond futures, uh, prior to the euro, I used to trade Italian government bond futures, French government bond futures, interest rate futures, all for institutional clients. So uh, I still follow the bond markets quite a lot. Before I go a little further into it and show you some charts and why I think it's still important to keep an eye on bonds, I will look at what uh, the markets are doing this morning. It's just uh, gone 8 a.m. London. So... Uh, we've got spot gold at 1242.80. That's up about two dollars. Range has been 1237 to 1243. So gold uh, and silver, I would say, kind of stopped dropping, but are going nowhere at the moment. Just uh, consolidating, I would say. Silver right now is up three cents at 1582. Uh, Range has been 1573 to 1585. Uh, the Dow is down six points, so virtually one ch unchanged at 25,055. S&P is down seven or a quarter of a percent at 27.91. The NASDAQ 100 future, uh, that's down almost 1%. Uh, it's been led by Netflix, I think. Uh, Netflix is down like 13%. It had some bad results yesterday, so it's leading all the other alphabet stocks lower. So uh, the NASDAQ uh, future is down 72 or 1% at 7285. At the moment, the Dow and the S&P are kind of not responding that much to, to that uh, move. But who knows? We could see uh, them also start going down a bit more. Or at, when the U.S. comes in, maybe as usual... Uh, someone will buy up the Nasdaq. Who knows? Anyway, uh, uh, currency-wise, we got the pound up a little bit, down 0.15 of a percent at 132.52. Uh, Euro is up a, a 0.2 of a percent at 117.31, and uh, the dollar is virtually one unchanged against the yen at 112.36. Uh, oil took a fairly big hit yesterday and it's continuing to go lower here. So uh, it's at 66.88 WTI, uh, down half a percent or down 38 uh, cents. Um, that will uh, probably help uh, the consumer in the short term. I know I've said uh, before that I think the, the trend is higher in oil. Uh, we are correcting quite a bit. Since that uh, recent high above 73, there was a lot of talk about intervening, uh, about uh, OPEC increasing production. So they managed to stop, stop it going higher for now, uh, oil. So interest rates and the bond market. Well, the, in, the most important thing about knowing about interest rates in the bond market in terms of mechanics is that when bond prices go up, the yields on the bonds go down, right? So uh, that makes uh, money more uh, abundant, uh, easier to uh, borrow, because if you can borrow at uh, 5% instead of 10, of course you're gonna borrow at five instead of 10. If you can borrow at 2%, even better, right? So it, it uh, helps uh, the financial uh, system, it helps uh, the credit markets, if interest rates are going down. Uh, and as you can see uh, by this chart here, this is a long-term historical chart since beginning really 
of the United States as an independent country. And you can see that since 1981, the trend in the 10-year yield uh, has been down. We've had uh, spikes back up, but we've seen higher, uh, lower lows and lower highs. And uh, that's why we've had this huge um, financialization of the economy, I would argue, uh, with this huge move from yields above 15% uh, in 1981 to a low of around 1.35% in July of 2016. This is what's kept the uh, fiat money system going, the credit bubble going. Uh, it's allowed the U.S. government to keep borrowing trillions and trillions. Um, what happens again, uh, the U.S. government, let's say they issued a bond at 7% 20 years ago, a 10-year yield, 10-year bond at 7%. Uh, now they can finance it at 3%, right? So they can roll over the old debts and it becomes cheaper, right? But the problem now is when it starts turning, uh, and uh, as you can see here from this uh, chart, since the late 80s, it looks like we're starting to turn. Uh, looks like trend lines are being broken. Uh, it looks like the low in 2016 is going to be the low, uh, in my opinion. And uh, the other thing is cycles. <laughs> uh, the uh, previous low had been just after World War II, around in 1945, when the yield was pretty much near uh, where we went uh, two years ago in July of 2016. I think it was around 146, 150. And then until 1981... We had a bear market in treasuries, um, so about 35 years, 36 years. Uh, so these cycles are long. So from uh, 1981 to 2016, that was another 35 years. So uh, the question now is going to be whether uh, this market is going to turn like a like a super tanker, and by that I mean it's going to turn slowly and shift uh, course or if we're going to see a very uh, sharp move higher. At the moment, it's turning like a super tanker. Uh, for the last two years, we've gone from 135 to the present level of around 286. Uh, as you can see, though, recently uh, we started, uh, let's see, beginning from the beginning of this year, we've uh, traded up in the yields. We've broken some key levels. Uh, we went up uh, to 312. Uh, that was in uh, May of this year. But since then, uh, yields have come back down fairly quickly. They didn't stay above 3% for too long. And the reason why 3% is important, it's not the number itself. Technically, you can see the uh, high from the end of 2014, beginning, well, end of 2013, uh, beginning of 2014, the high there was 304. So the if we d make a, a higher high definitively, it could signal a, 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 an end of the bull market in uh, yield, in, in bonds that we've seen since 1981. And that's why this 303 is so important. Not because it's an important number, but technically it just breaks the trend. Uh, I personally think that trend is uh, turned now. Uh, yeah, we are back below 3%, but I, I think it's only temporary. You might even go a bit lower, but uh, I think before the year end, end of the year, we're going to see a lot higher rates. Uh, and like I said, if we turn very quickly and sharply, it could be very serious for the whole... Uh, financial system for the whole world. Why the whole world? Well, because the the world has been on a uh, petrodollar, fiat dollar, uh, reserve uh, currency system since uh, yields have started coming down, uh, especially uh, the world is uh, a wash in debt, and it wouldn't have been a wash in debt if interest rates weren't coming down like they are have been since 1981. And that's why it's so important uh, to keep an eye on that. I know the last couple of months, 
things have gone off the boil because rates have come back down. There's not much talk about uh, bonds and the yields, but we need to, uh, uh, I need to, I think it's important to remind people that it's still really important. Uh, this, the cheap money that has allowed the U.S. national debt to go from under a trillion when President Reagan took power in 81 to where it's now that it's almost 22 trillion and and that's not even adding the unfunded liabilities that are uh, claimed to be at 200 trillion uh, so you can see how uh, a turn in in interest rates or yields higher will be completely toxic for uh, the economy uh, and yeah and the and if you look at all the cycles, they're at least 20, sometimes 30 years. So it's a long-term cycle. So if we started to 2016, uh, the low, and we're now in a bear market longer term, it could be for the next 20, 30 years. So things will be very different uh, for the economy. Uh, does that mean it's a bad thing? No, I, I, I actually don't think it's a bad thing per se. I think we've been in a period of too much uh, abundant, a cheap money. It's uh, it's created a lot of problems, a lot of debt. That's the the flip side. Right now, the ten year ten year yield is at two eighty six, so it's still comfortably below that three percent uh, level. But uh, I think I needed to remind people about uh, how important the bond markets are. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it. Uh, far and wide. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can also follow me on DTube, Steemit, and on Twitter. And I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.